Nice tee shot from Kang, from finds the right fairway. Florida, Nelly Korda. Now they hit 12 out of 14 fairways. Round and one, more of the same Tita today. Cool. Have a great day, ladies. Tita Kuhn in some trouble finding the sandy area just off the left hand side of the fairway. She has 111 yards to this hole location. There's a backstop behind the hole that players may use to their advantage. Great shot from Kang. Very close putt here for Birdie. Little right to left break. Kang playing that hole beautifully. Daniel Kang preparing this birdie roll trying to make it back to back. Will it peel back? No. Man, couldn't quite match up the line and pace. Had the perfect line. And Corda, the furthest one up, only 143 yards to the flag. She had the club twirl, Amelia, when Nellie's club twirling, look out. This putt's going to break to her right. I see it a couple balls outside. Just misses it low. That's the length putt that she was making with regularity uh, last year when she won five times, including the gold medal. Uh, rare miss for a Nelly Corda in form from that distance. I love a landing zone of just short and just right. Gives you that straight putt. This is looking on a good line, landing a little short. You see that big rollout. It's just getting better and better. Just outside the shadow of the stick. She did. The ball definitely slowed down once it got towards the hole, sitting on a bit of an uphill slant. I think she realized she could give it a little more pace than she thought. You definitely don't want to be running this ball too far by the hole. Kang's birdie roll on the way and misses on the right-hand side. This was a difficult putt uh, to read. I, I hadn't seen many players read that putt correctly. It's more the angle that Nelly and Atiyah were coming in from that's an easier putt to read. And it's a very difficult lie. The ball is well below her feet. She has to bend her knees a lot. That came out really solid, but headed left of the green. It was going to be really hard to cut that ball off of that lie. Just trying to stay balanced is the most important. with a wedge shot here, can definitely be aggressive. It's just a little left of the flag. To the coon with a par putt. And we saw her do a great one at the first hole of the day, ninth. And, and she's one of the few in, players but... that, she's one of the few players that I've seen chip around these greens. Just a huge momentum swing if she could make this Gonna break to her right. Will be another bogey. To the kind of it's flurry. tough because even though she played the hole well from her initial poor shot. This is Nelly Corda for par. With a little draw, it will, should also kick towards the 
left side. This fairway slopes from right to left. This on a really good line if it gets a good bounce. Well, it did. Scoot on. This will That'll leave a nice look at Eagle. And Tripp, you're right. This is a very awkward yardage. 49 yards, one of the hardest yardages for players. But she had no problem there. Kang making it look easy. And she's already had some chips today and hit them very well. So she's looking to play this as a flat putt. Eagle effort. Roll pass to the left hand side. Be a tap and birdie for Ataya. Gets one back. She's now one over. The wonderful spot to putt from. The problem is a little longer than she wanted. Yeah. Does it matter? I said she could ride it with that club. She does that often. Back on the 16th. Nelly quarter from just off the green. This is her second. I really like that decision to, decision to chip. See why, even with the time away from the game, dealing with that blood clot surgery, subsequent recovery, she's still number two in the Rolex rankings. Really good angle. She's on the right side of the fairway to a left hole location. This starting a little right and drawing towards the hole. Yeah, not bad from quarter. Once this ball lands, it's going to be very fast. Big downhill ridge coming towards the hole. Yeah, she carried that one probably about five yards further than she wanted. So move Nelly inside the top ten. Ho hum par for quarter on the 17th. She stays at two under and a tie for 12th, six back in the leader. Facing her first bogey on the card. Kang back to one under. There's not a lot in this par putt here. Just maybe a little outside the hole. That one stayed outside will be another bogey for Titicoon. Third, these first nine holes did have that birdie on the 15th, so she is at two over currently outside the cut line looking in. See you. Correct, yeah. That took a horrible bounce. Such a bad bounce to the right. That's going to keep releasing down the slope. You hit it thin. Or you overcompensate. <laughs> uh, especially with this lie. Fifth shot now for Danielle Kang. Staring a big can, number in the face. I can empathize her frustration here. These last three holes have really just eaten her up. Play her way out of the weekend. Sixth shot now. Long look at double, a likely triple. She would go from. Doing the count. One, two, three in the bunker, four in the bunker. Just sitting on that front right portion of the green. The green pitches from back to front, so you can let this ball spin. Oh, 
will this ball come to rest? Good spot. Nice tee shot. Players should be looking left of the hole anyway, based on where the flag is sitted. It's only 125 yards, though, so they're not looking to be too conservative. There you go. Could be a good bounce back there from the former world number one. As you a little bit with just a short iron in your hand. Inviting hole location today, though. A pitching wedge for Kang. Um, even though she's furthest away, but eight, eight feet straight up the hill. Torino. Yeah, she has six feet for birdie. Going to break a little more left. It's been that kind of championship. Nice birdie for Danielle Kang. An awkward combination. She has to stay left of this whole location. Exactly what she does. Quarter pin high with another birdie putt. And it's not just a little smiley face, it's a big smiley face. She makes sure she sees it. Hasn't had a lot of reason to smile today, though, with just one birdie. And players face this all the time where they're outside the cut line. They may feel they have low chances of not making it to the weekend, but it's all about the process. You can't be thinking, oh, I'm missing the cut. I'm just not going to care anymore. Oh, there we go. Because you still have another week, the next tournament to play well and have a chance of bringing home a check. Nelly Corda for birdie. Nelly expecting that. Just so many putts, George, just missing the edge. Sixth hole, and Nellie Court will be jotting down a four. Another part. She should land this no more than 155. Pink 21 on, seven off the left. Cannot miss left. Nice shot from Danielle Kang. But that's the loop that happens when you're a professional athlete. You think about your mistakes, but then try and learn from them and move on to the next week. And that's a painful miss for Kang. She knows she needed it. Par on the seventh for Kang. I mean, if you're hitting your driver well, it's such an advantage to take off a lot of yardage and just have a flip wedge in. Lies it 20 yards past Titicone. <laughs> Keller behind the eighth watching Rolex number two, Nelly Corda. Two under par. Nine. 92 yards on a good line. Needs to spin left. How good is that? Titicoon to birdie the last. Nice way to close out a round. Showed some heart. The last few holes. Second round, 74 for Danielle Kang. Barring something drastic, she will miss the cut at the U.S. Women's Open.
Well, so far we have seen a lot more birdies. Moria Jatanagarn with her second at the par 4 18th. Older sister of 2018 U.S. Women's Open champion Moria would roll that in for birdie. Ryan O'Toole, the veteran from Southern California, got her first victory on the LPGA Tour last year. Fist pumps that one in at the second. Move a step closer toward the lead. Megan Kang grew up in Massachusetts, played on a couple of U.S. Solheim Cup teams, looking for her first career victory, trying to make it a big one. Her tee shot at the fifth, spectacular. Hedgen Choi, she's a rookie on the LPGA Tour. 22-year-old from Korea, nearly won this championship five years ago as a 17-year-old, and she has got it rolling. That same U.S. Open where she nearly won, this woman did, Sung Hyun Park. Twice a major champion, a birdie at the 15th as she tries to regain the form that took her to number one in the world. The story of day one, besides the amateur Lindblad, was the veteran from Northern California, Monterey Peninsula, Nina Haragai, 15 years ago, won a USGA title, the Pup Links, and shot her best career round on a U.S. Women's Open. At the eighth, as we've been uh, telling you, players are teeing off on one and nine this week, so the eighth is the final hole of the day. She has endured a double bogey already this week, and yet here is Moria Chitanagar, tied for fourth. Well, hello there. And this 17th hole has been playing a little bit easier today for the players. It is downwind. This is Bailey Shoemaker with her chance for a birdie. Amateur from Florida. Rolling that one in. Well played there, Bailey. Had a good round yesterday. Two under par. Two under par today as well. Did have a bogey on the previous hole. 17th hole today. As I mentioned just a while ago, playing easier. There was only seven birdies on it yesterday. There have been six already today. And Sungham Park will have a great opportunity there to add to that total. And here's an English woman, superstar at UCLA, Bronte Law for par. So a pair of 69s for Bronte, once a winner. Oh. Walks it in, stays seven under at the par three sixteenth. Oh wow, good roll. Annie Park from Long Island, U.S. Solheim Cup player. Yeah, it's starting off on the ninth. This ninth has been a bit of a toughie for, for players to kickstart their round on. Not so much for Annie <laughs> Park there. It's going to be quite nice for her moving on to the par five tenth. Great control. Really strong. Caroline Masson from Germany. Well, a scoreable hole on the golf course. A nice approach. What a business interest in being a mom. That was for Birdie. All right, gotta give it a go. Yeah. Her time and energy have been devoted elsewhere. But it was great for her to come back here. And, and when you think about, you know, who has made the biggest impact on the LPGA Tour in the last 15, 20 years. Hedgen Choi at the eighth for birdie. To tie the all-time U.S. Women's Open record. Wow. Same score Mina Haragai shot yesterday. Mina for birdie to close out round two. The 64 was eye popping. The 69, though, for Haragai, how important was it? Just too much talent there. Producing some good. On 17, Se Young Kim, after a good approach, can she finish it off? Yes, she can. Keep an eye on Seon Kim <laughs> as the weekend continues. She can get on a roll. Yes, she can. Bit of a proven competitor there. 
We're looking at Dottie Ardina with her second shot down here on a 420 yard par four. Front hole location today. In comparison to a back one yesterday, proving to make this hole a little bit more accessible and Dottie proving exactly why. She's at seven over though. Nicole Garcia from South Africa. Just enough. I think that, that's part of it. As, as you get more experience, you learn how to putt. And with a chance for birdie, just getting going for her round. And yes, that was a pretty straight putt from there. That's a, another great example of knowing where to. We saw birdie from Annie Park at the first hole, which was the ninth. Here she is trying to go back to back. NCAA champion from USC and a winner on the LPGA Tour four years ago. Emma McMyler from San Antonio, Texas, just a moment ago at the third. Teeing up on the left side, getting a little better angle into this front right hole location. And that paid off. Area Jatanagar needs something in the red if she's going to make the cut. 2018 U.S. Women's Open champ. And oh. that is a good start. I also wonder in this wave that's now teeing off in the afternoon, they were the first wave out. Literally tied her to the day, incredibly. Lauren Hartledge getting her LPGA career started. Whoa! And that's going to help her cause making the cut and moving up the board. Tied for 15. One of the biggest hitters in the world from Slovenia, Pia Babnik. Whoa. Oh, she. Good catch. A big hit of this <laughs> flagstick. She finished third at the Chevron Championship. Earned a spot here at the U.S. Women's Open. We're to go down to two, and this is Louise Duncan, amateur from Scotland, won the, the British Amateur Championship, been playing on the Curtis Cup team last week. She's going to play on the Curtis Cup next week. Played last year, sorry. And uh, she was asked about how close Pinehurst resembles a golf community like St Andrews. She says it has a really similar feel to it. Everybody's talking about golf everywhere. Mel Reed played well early last year at the Olympic Club at the U.S. Women's Open. This for birdie at three. She will need a couple more of those. This is Karen Kim, par three, 16. Nice touch. Oh, even better. How about that. <laughs> she played at Princeton when the director of athletics was Molly Marcus Amon. Andrea Lee. Uh huh. Okay. She was not. Fully exempt on the LPGA Tour when the season started. Had very little status. Got a sponsor invite to play at Palos Verdes a few weeks ago. You're doing the right things. To 12. And this is Lilia Vu with her second shot underway. The player from UCLA making a splash on the LPGA Tour now. And that'll set up for a nice birdie for her. And one of the most promising young Americans, Yelini No, Northern California. Beautiful little sawed off with a tiny little fade finish. That was got control. Yeah. And we're going to see if Annie Park can get this one to drop. Just from the right of the flag here. It's going to be quick down to the hill. Oh, she oh, can. Yeah. Oh. Three birdies already on her day today. Birdie at nine, ten, and now twelve. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> at the fourth, Angela Stanford. Some birdies here. Start there. Yeah. 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 Woo! Woo! Major champion at Evian back in 2018. <laughs> it's her 23rd. Just a bit earlier, So Me Lee at the fourth. He's on the Korean LPGA hey. Tour. That almost went in twice. This is a player. Anna Nordquist, who 
Any chance she gets will use a putter from off the green. And that's one of the reasons why. And yesterday, she was five for six scrambling. There was only one player better percentage-wise. That was Lexi. I mentioned she was three for three. She carries an extra wedge, and maybe that left her, you know, with a, a number she didn't like for her second shot. My goodness. So we're going to go to the ninth, and Jane Marie Green, she's at four over par, got a lot of work to do today. But that's just the way to start it off. We're going to go to one. And Minji Lee with her approach shot. Again, Paige, players are really driving the ball down here quite deep, leaving themselves short shots in. No flag trouble there for Minji Lee. Not often you have a putt of this length that you lag, but uh, this is really a lag putt. It kind of throw it out there to the right and trickle it down there if it falls in. Great. Bogeyed her opening hole, the ninth. Good Gets stroke. it right back. This is Somi Lee on the fifth hole. Plus one for the tournament. Has a birdie on the fourth. Trying to go back to back. Yes. Rattles that one in with some speed. I think the rules officials might have to get out there and check for damage <laughs> to the hole that hit it so fast. At the 14th, the last player in the field. She had to win last week in Vegas at the match play to get in the 2009 U.S. Open champion from Saucon Valley, Eun Hee Ji. The oldest player ever from Korea to win on the LPGA Tour. For birdie, after setting the all-time amateur scoring record yesterday with a 65. Not much movement in this putt. And how confident did that stroke look for an amateur sleeping near the lead of the U.S. Open? I am. She drove it way right. Actually hit a heck of a shot to get it to this point, And she is putting this from well off the green. This is such a difficult play. There's a lot of grass there for her to cover. But, Paige, wow. you noticed yesterday how good her distance control with her putter has been. And this is a good scoring opportunity. That whole location, that front right location. That'll leave a nice birdie look. Laid up on the par five first, made par, scramble for par two, and now a chance. You can see manufacturing something, just a three quarter shot. Typically get less spin when you're taking a little off of it. Beautiful. Also very, very fast chip. Wow, that is <laughs> phenomenal touch there. That's adjusted for the uphill. Very high, just right of the flagstick. Might get a little slope there. That's a good shot. Here it comes. There we yeah. go. Could it be for Lexi Thompson? Could this be the week that she breaks back into that <laughs> major championship winner circle regularly to five? And this is Nasa Hataoka. One over. Yeah. 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 Look at that. This football is yielding some putts today, Paige. <laughs> and I'm sure the plays rounding out this loop. This is one of the areas of her game that is, she is particularly strong with her, her iron play, and really she's given us all a good example of exactly why. Laser like. Good. And it was a straightforward bunker shot. You know, even though it was short sided, back up the hill because of the amount of opportunities that she has, John. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Got to keep your speed up here. Could be. Beautiful oh, stroke. Yes. Cut line is right at plus two. Is she going to get a little wiggle room? She will. Wiggles it in.
Nordquist to get to six under and a share of third. Wow. From off the green, from on the green, <laughs> and is making it from everywhere, and maybe a good omen. Yeah, one of the best swings on the LPGA Tour. Always good from tee to green. Was a little bit lacking with the putter. Just started working with Gary Flusky, so expect big things from her. French Open to nine. And this is Aria Jutanagan. She's at two over par. And I think a good shot in here will do it a world of good. Yes, she'll have a chance of that to get it to one over. The native area there. No problem. Now, can you leave me know? Put that work that she's been doing in to good use here. This for birdie. Yes. And all of these shots really make a huge difference when you're hovering around. A moment ago, Kylie Choi, third shot at the fourth. We saw her hit a flag stick earlier. Has she done it again? Yes, but this One time better. it stays in. She's 15 years old from Southern California. She was born after the last time Annika Sorenstam missed a cut on the LPGA Tour, May of 2006. Yep, there it is again. About a month ago, made an eight on the seventh. Hannah Green looking for another birdie. from everybody <laughs> back to back birdies for Hannah and that for a bounce back birdie that's more like it Couple of birdies today, one under for the. Looking right to the shadows here at three over. Cut line at two over par. Keep turning. Yes! So right on the number. Well judged, first birdie of the day for Park. Uh huh. She gets a little closer. She joins Hedge and Choi. Seven under. Here at the eighth in the fairway, the number one player in the world, Jin Young Ko. Oh, hot. Billy Davis from the edge. Yeah. yeah. Second time we see her do that. Very talented young player from the University of Tennessee. She's got a bright future ahead of her. Annie Park here at the second for a par. Back up the hill. And working that one well. Made six straight bogeys from 13 through 18. Is uh, hiding here in the trees <laughs> at the second. Not easy to pick up the golf ball for the camera. There it is. How about that shot? How about <laughs> that? She might walk away with a birdie. Here might be a tap in. What a recovery. When he do won the match play last week. Hand side of the fair, it's almost perfectly level. Just able to come in with a, a gap wedge, a nice smooth one. Right at it. May lead to more consistency this way, but I think you'll win more going with your best. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree with you, John. Really good looking wedge here. Beauty. Adi Ardina on the tee of 16. Sit. Sit. Oh, 
it took a huge hop off the front of the green, but that's going to be really nice. Wanted it to sit. It did. Giving herself plenty of opportunities. That's what she does, Terry. She gives herself lots of opportunities with her ball striking. Not that I would want to go back to that, but it does take your mind off of everything going on here. That's what I said. She had an early, late start. Maybe something to just distract her a little bit. Oh. Kind of like the puzzles that she likes to do uh, in her time off. You know she what? Says it's good distraction. A lot of pride and obviously just very excited to be out here. Down here, Tina. Yep. And at 16, saw the tee shot. From 132, the top of the plateau, perfectly placed drive. Got a good angle at this back right flag. Nice. On a very good line. Yeah, excellent. And this is the second shot for Hannah Green, major champion in her own right. Trying to knock it in close here, and oh, a little kiss off the flag. From one Australian to another, Sarah Kemp here at the 17th, her second. Four over par, so it could do with a birdie. This is her 17th hole of the day. And, well, she might have an eagle. Wonderful approach from Sarah Kemp. That should get her to three over par in the cut. This is the part of her game that she's worked a lot on, keeping her shoulder blades a little bit further back to keep her arms closer to her rib cage. Oh, that was a good looking stroke there. Just died off at the end. Go to the 16th. Stanford, this for par. Yep. Yeah. Veteran TCU and that major championship win in 2018. Just off the green. Another young Swedish talent here. Mm. Gotten a lot of play this week because of Lindblad being up there, but it is true. So many players coming from Sweden. Front side, third hole, let it go. Mm. Right, at it. Look at the mark. It is just 120 yards left now, though, and a pretty indefensible hole location here. Right in the middle of the green, expect her to take dead aim here. And a little bit of a backstop as well if you fly it past. She doesn't need to do that, and Lexi has a good chance for a birdie. Came very close on the previous hole. Over to the third. Lydia. So not the read or the result she was looking for there. This one drops. And Alexi to five under par. location today in the back right another one of these holes that you don't want to go long she did nearly perfect Beth Wu saw that shot on the fence plus three so right on the number the projected number thank you big thank shot you. and I think it'd be interesting for players on the cut line like Beth Wu Button herself right there. She's been playing such fantastic golf as of late, taking advantage of the opportunity that she's been given, and very impressive. I've been here at 14, so something to watch coming in. And I've seen her do that a couple times this year. It's her miss. It's just a little bit of a pull. This is carrying some speed. That's okay. That's a that gets a hits the flag still job. Perfect speed now. Thank you. thank you, thank yes. you, I will take that. Par five, Minji Lee. Chipping back up the slope here, perfect spot, but don't want to leave this. I want to make sure to leave this a little bit on the short side. Ah, she took Not too much. Not that short. Yeah, that's going to be the tendency because just over that 
flag. Everything slopes off the green. Let's go to the eight. Yeah, great tradition to that event. So many in this area. Poor drive. Third for Amy Olson at eight. Good. Well, she's been rolling them very well, and the ones that haven't gone in have just lipped out. That's why I asked. <laughs> it's just new. I mean, we've been watching it. I mean, beautiful pace she's had. Minji Lee for Birdie to get it to eight under. There it is. Beautifully played. You feel like you're pretty far back at eight back, but there's a lot of golf left to play. And to be under par after 36 holes. Too. Leave yourself a very straightforward pitch shot. Good looking line here, right at the middle of the green. Beautiful tempo, beautiful balance to her Great golf swing. Kick. Look at this. Just like the one she hit on the first hole. Terrific shot. 16 on the tee within one Minji Lee. Minji doing Minji things. Her approach game is just. No harm. Just fine. We'll finish up here. Minji Lee inside of 14 feet at 16. A share. Rolling it in again. Threatened to do that a number of times earlier in the round and now is able to. To start the week and now sharing the lead. Not done yet. Nordquist, solid, solid day. 68 after the 67. So well positioned. Yeah, and just played smart golf. And Linnea Johansson. It's been a tough tee shot today for a number of players. But not this one. What a shot. That's one of the best that we've seen today at the fifth. And it does. Eagle for Jin Young Ko. And we talked about not forcing anything. Birdie try Annika. She's searching still for her first birdie today. Not going to get it. Had a couple yesterday. Jin Young Ko for birdie at 16. Coming off birdie eagle there. But she's kind of on a little bit of a fast break at this point. Came out of that one very quickly. Kicked it out for a three jump. Over at the 17th. With the rain falling, Minji really good up and down. It's a good scramble. Remember her tee shot was well out of position to the right. Went straight through the fairway. Oh, Saigo, second shot here at 18. She's ranked 18th in the Rolex rankings. She was at three under earlier in the day. Falling back a little bit, but player to watch come up the coming the weekend would not be much defense in terms of approach walks away with a par at two over so trying to get into the house here and make it to the weekend good par Yeah, a few raindrops on the tower here at 17. Hata Oka to get it to one over. The cut has been going back and forth. Two over to three over. And that's going to take it a one over par. So she won't have anything to worry about. Played at this level many, many times. And a greens. Second at eight. Oh, nearly. That second half. Wow, I thought she might have a little bit of spin on that. Let's go to the eighth. Jessica Corda, big putt on the last to get it to one over that projected cut plus three. Let's make another, yeah. Way to close it out. One under 70 on day two. 
with the University of Miami. Finished third in the qualifier in Columbus, Ohio. Get there. Oh, eventually, yes. Patience, that's all you need. And a little bit of luck. Don't give up on it. It just gets it to fall in and on the low side. No doubt disappointed with how she's played today. This for par. Just anything center of the screen, don't be too aggressive to this whole location. Looks like just what she's trying to do. Should be able to get it in the clubhouse at nine under. Eventually, 17. And Alexi trying to scramble a par. And it wasn't far away, but just a little bit of work. Something to think about for that bogey putt coming back. Yeah, she has had, I mean, she's gotten a little bit unlucky there, like she no did on question. 15, but on one and on 10. Unusual for Lexi to not take advantage of her power. So, low. Hmm. Spent quite a lot of time over that. You well, know, there are some people at three over par that are thanking her for that right now. Excellent. Round two. 66 after the 67, which wasn't bad either. Heading a little left. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, it's not much. Yeah. Maybe a foot. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> One of the best swings of the day, right there, John. You called it. 152. She's in an awfully good position to find two more Hall of Fame points. She currently has 18 right now. That's her number one goal is to make it into the Hall of Fame. Cup show. 138. She's got a couple good visuals ahead of her with the other two players in her group. Had to look pretty good in the air. It was right at it, but just shy. Looks really good to the very end. That'll put a smile on your face, Terry. Even better chance. One more birdie would make it that much better. Those late bogeys and a few bad breaks, but getting one back at 18. See that line on her putter? Ball didn't give it enough pace. Thought it was. I mean, John, you said it's not at pretty level. She played it to be a little quicker down the hill. <laughs> One of the all-time greats. Third on the win list with those 72 wins. Sensational the first two days here at Pine Needles. Ingrid Lindblad, what a performance.